Yeah. 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 All right. He's got a fucking wow, wow, wow. monster that was in court and got convicted of a uh, murder. And, it, yes. and it, what he said to the fucking That's family. Garbage from Ohio. Holy yeah. shit. Yeah. Brutal. Just, just fucking kill him. I we... masturbate. I use the same fig finger I use on my trigger to masturbate. Thinking, oh, fuck of, you all. thinking of yeah. what I did or something. Yeah. But do you know what? One and, of... and he took his shirt off and it said killer on his T-shirt. Mm -hmm. he, he, he's a crazy person, but he's a little fucking cocksucker. Some, one of the other students was there or somebody who knew him, and they brushed it off. They said he sounded like a scared little boy. Oh, he's going to be petrified in he's prison. He's just trying to be crazy before he goes to jail. Do we have audio of that or no? Let's hear that. He's a hateable guy. He's though. not going to do well in prison. I hope they put him in general population. They won't, though. Put these guys in general pop. No. Just do it. All right, let's see. We can't hear. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's fake. Yeah, because, like, hey, you need your trigger, it's masturbation, fuck you all. That's a scared little boy right there. But he, he's okay. so hateable. You think that, uh, like, how does a guard resist just knocking his teeth? I mean, you're going to give you a picture. Oh, the CNN anchor's crying over what's going to happen to him? <laughs> are they talking about how awful it is that his life is thrown away? <laughs> Jimmy. Can we hear that again? Mm. Well, we got part of it, right? That Someone... sound doesn't kick in until. Yeah, I know. Oh, what a little brat. Oh, he is going to get a ravaged. Is he one of the Gallagher brothers? He has that vibe. <laughs> All right. What a little brat. Yeah. How great would it be to see his fucking teeth oh, just knocked out? I believe it'll happen. I don't know. I'm so sick of hearing about convicts have justice. Mm. They don't do anything. If you cut them in line, they kill you. They don't care if you rape kids. They don't do a yeah, fucking thing. Yeah, but he might be fuckable. Yeah, he is. You know? <laughs> he's, uh... You look in prison, he's a model. He's gonna be well protected. Well, of course. Nothing's gonna happen to this kid anytime soon. I don't know. Yeah. Gotta hope uh, something happens to him. Yeah. Then you got the uh, lawyer of the Ohio rapist uh, speaking up today. Oh, good. Oh, what happened there? Oh, well, wait till you hear this. Oh, boy. He's got a little angle. Oh, boy. A little angle on what's going on there in Steubenville. Yeah. Ohio. Stop raiding. We all know the story. The football players, right? Oh yeah. All right. I don't believe he should have to register as a sex offender till he dies. Oh, well, that is part of the punishment. Oh, if in fact unfair. he is guilty of this crime, well, that's he ridiculous. does have to register as a sex offender. That's unfair. And others need to know that is one of the consequences of rape. I think you would be in a minority that's in that right. opinion. No. I don't no. think you I should have to not. explain to I your grandchildren when you're seven. Well, you'll have your chance, Miss Lords. I don't believe that a person at 75 years old should have to explain for something they did at 16 when scientific evidence would support your brain isn't fully developed. When, yeah, when, when the evidence in a case would suggest that you were under the influence. Listen, I've got three teenage sons, and when you get to 16, 17, your brain is developed enough to know you shouldn't be raping girls. Well, there are people girls, that know better I, I, than you that would disagree. It, well, well, I don't think so. Honestly, well, I think you get to 17, you're, you're a late teen, you're nearly a, you're nearly a man. So this guy is saying... Yeah. That one year away from being military age, you don't know that doing that to a girl is wrong. And he's also saying mm -hmm. that we trust you with the keys to a car at age <laughs> 17, but you don't know that kind of raping a chick with your hand mm -hmm. and jerking off on her is wrong. This lawyer is a fucking cunt. And how, how she has to explain to her grandchildren right. that that video that is out there and those photos that are out there what happened well they were you know they kind of took advantage of me and they were fingering me in the car and they were yeah, passing me around and they were fucking so he should fuck him and fuck his grandchildren mm -hmm. fuck his explanation yeah I, I think i learned something though Ooh. when you register as a sex offender it's for your life yes did not know that. Yeah, I thought it, it was. Be. I thought it was more of a sentence where you have to, you know, do that for a certain amount of years. You know what they think? Mm -hmm. The recidivism rate in sex offenders, and again, maybe not this guy, but the recidivism rate is so high, and people are just sick and tired of being victimized by these fucking this chicks pieces so of hot. garbage. I'm not saying I don't get it, <laughs> and I'm not saying I shouldn't have registered 30 or 40 different times. You find it creepy when you uh, do the sex offender map and see how many fucking dots there are? Exactly. No matter where you fucking live? Right. Sure. Holy fuck. Especially when the, the, the beep is getting really loud. Like, the, 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 the ping is coming from inside the house. Oh, it's me. <laughs> Holy fuck, though. Mm -hmm. I'm doing... Do you think it's here and there? But, man, no matter where you live, there's just a shitload of dots on that map. I'm doing something for uh, Comedy Central. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm oh, can you tell us? Off the air, I don't know if I'm allowed to say it yet. I mean, again, mm -hmm. it's nothing major, but I'm doing that. And uh, because there's going to be some 
children around. Mm-hmm. Uh, they have to do a background check and all that. It's a Viacom thing. They want to wow. make sure no fucking... And I get it. Children around. They don't want to get sued because some fucking creep. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I, I think it's a smart move. Wow. Another uh, story involving a, a child. Um, you read about that guy? Uh, his uh, son took a picture with a little AR-15 type rifle, 22, outside his house. He's wearing little fatigues and stuff like that. And he's holding the gun very safely. He apparently, uh, his father is um, one of the, um, uh, an instructor for the NRA. And uh, so they posted that picture on Facebook. And uh, like the Department of fucking Social Services little, comes knocking on the door with four cops. And they want to come inside. They want to they want to look in his gun safe, see what guns he owns, uh, ask him questions about that, uh, uh, thinking that maybe the child's uh, welfare is in danger. Ridiculous. Can I ask you? Ridiculous. Uh, and I think you're you're probably mm-hmm. right. Let me say the But how are we? I say we. But like, uh-huh. what what is the the appropriate reaction when the pattern is developed? Like you know how you talk about patterns and how the cops have to stop certain people because. And I uh-huh. agree with you. I, they do. But when, when patterns of fucking school shootings have been happening, right. and so many of them are, are posting these kind of pictures, and this is in the pattern, how are we supposed to react? Like, we always say, well, you've got to cut it off before it happens. And when in the process of cutting it off before it happens, you're going to wind up talking to a lot of innocent people. It's like stop and frisk. You're going to wind up stopping and frisking a lot of innocent people. They were asking to, without a warrant, enter this guy's house and look at uh, his, his uh, weapons. That's out of the question. And did he say yes or no? But he said no. Okay. His wife was there. His wife called him up. He got on the phone in conference with his lawyer and started talking to these people and saying, no, you do not let them in the house. They, they don't, don't have a warrant. They're not allowed in this house. Get the name of the woman that is with the uh, um, Department of uh, Social Services or whatever, this child welfare. And uh, she wouldn't give her name. Wouldn't even give her fucking name. Why? The woman wouldn't give her name. And she fucking left, and the cops, he said the cops were very cool about it. They were there because they were asked to sure. come there with uh, the person, and uh, they all just left. But at first, they wanted to come in and, and without a warrant, search this guy's house. I know, I, and I understand him saying no. And I'm not saying that they should be allowed to do that. Yeah. But, but going there, it's like, how, what is the appropriate reaction? How about like, a little more research like this? Look, it's guy's Facebook. His picture's there. There's other family pictures on there. Well, you're obviously a shooting enthusiast. That isn't a, a, a lunatic that's going to go and, and shoot up a school. And, and you can't just start infringing on people's rights because you think a picture might. And it was somebody on Facebook that ratted out saying, oh, that's terrible. They ought to. I agree. Mm-hmm. But it's almost like. When you look at somebody in uh, a thug outfit, like immediately you make a judgment on them. Sure. And it's the same thing with this now because most people who are doing school shootings, they're young white guys, they dress in mm-hmm. these. It's, it's like, it, it, I mean, pe- pe- people's toes are going to get stepped on when you're trying to do preventative measures. Mm. Kid's pretty young. How old is he? 10? He's a little kid, yeah. Maybe 10, 11 10, tops. Something like and that. I, and I know I don't think. That they should be able to go into this guy's house and take... I'm not saying Never. any of that. And it's the annoying second, that she wouldn't give her name. The second you give up that right where they need a warrant to come into your house, it's fucking really over at that point. It's just fucking done. That's not going to happen. Uh, I told you they wouldn't take the gun. They're trying assault, so assault. hard. Did he make the... the oh, they're tr- you, they, because they didn't have the votes. They tried. Yeah. They're trying. They won't get it. The thing is, the American people love their guns. They had to pull the assault weapons ban off of Feinstein's bill. Uh, but yeah, you know, it doesn't help help New Yorkers. We already have a ban, so we're fucked. But it, it, believe me, their intent is to take the guns away. Uh, it's just a matter of they don't have enough votes right now. And like I said earlier, all they do now is they're they're posturing. Every every politician you see, every decision that's made by the president, by Congress, um, they are posturing for 2014. They're just they're they're campaigning. You're watching. A campaign right now with this fucking sequester shit. Everything they do with this sequestering is campaigning for the midterm elections in 2014. So you're not getting honesty. You're not getting true representation. You're getting guys that want to keep their fucking job. But at least they'll start governing uh, after 2014. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, that's right. Then they got to start campaigning for president (laughs) again. It's It's just... 
never ending cycle of not working. Nothing gets done. It's all, all they do now is try to hold on to their job. Right. And, and by doing, uh, and to do that, they have to not do a lot of things. And what they do, they want it to look like the other side is to blame. Sure. This sequester thing is going back and forth between the Republicans won't uh, fucking give an inch, so it's their fault, and they, the other ones are, well, well, Obama signed the fucking thing. He's the one that signed it into law. So th- that gets, and then, and then uh, the Obama administration starts cutting back on these very public, very visual things saying it's the sequester, the fucking Easter egg roll, the, the White House tours. Why are they canceling that? Uh, well, we can't afford it. Sequester, sequester. Meanwhile, that's nothing compared to other things that are still uh, enacted and, and not taken away. How about we take away some of this fucking welfare shit? I'm so sick of welfare, by the way. So sick of those motherfuckers. I mean, I'm sure people uh, need it and, and actually deserve it, but you better prove it. And there should be drug fucking testing. If you have to fucking drug test in order to work, to make money, why can't you drug test in order to not work to make fucking money? Absolutely. Tired of it. And the restriction, there should be such strict restrictions on what you can and can't buy with that shit. I was looking at hair places and nail places with big signs, EBT accepted. Fuck you and your stupid her and your nails. And soda and candy and shit. That should be for real food to feed your kids, fuckwad. Yeah, Bloomberg. It's funny how Bloomberg wants to get involved with uh, the soda ban and all this shit. But you want to be healthy, cocksucker mayor? How about you mandate that they can only buy healthy food with food stamps or on welfare? How about you do that? If If you want to buy something with your money that you earned and stuff, fine. If you're on the dole... And getting government taxpayers' money? Yeah, you got to be accountable for that. Then, yeah, they, we want to know what you're fucking buying and not buying with it at this point. And there's so much shit going on where people have been on the dole for, for a dozen years. Uh, fresh at 18, they get on it. And they just stay there because that's their job. Their job is to collect fucking welfare. Amazing. I've had it. Had it. Because it's such waste, and, and, and then we look at things like the sequester, and, and, and the Easter egg roll is going to be cut. Yet every fucking month, those checks are going out to a fuckload of bums. I mean, and, and I'm not saying everybody is a bum. There are probably some very well-deserving people that need it. But it's supposed to be there to assist it's public assistance, not to stay on it for generations and generations and make people dependent. They are now completely dependent on welfare. But you said something there. Uh, you're oh. at the stage where you've had it. What happens now? Uh, I speak up about it. That's all I can do. But I used to be so quiet about these things. I get people that read my Twitter and they go, Anthony, what happened to you? What happened to me? I'm tired of it. I'm fed up there. Some people fucking go off the deep end. Other people just discuss it and talk about it. I'll never be rude or anything on Twitter. I'll never be nasty when I'm having a discussion with people. You know, oh. on myself, I'll be <laughs> yeah. very rude by and nasty. The, by the sound, what you, what, the sound you heard of shock and disbelief <laughs> with everyone else who follows Anthony on Twitter. <laughs> if I'm having a genuine debate with somebody, out. <laughs> believe me, I will be nasty. Huh? But uh, if, uh, huh? <laughs> if, if I'm having a debate with somebody, I'll try to keep it as civil as possible. I'll never just be like, fuck you, asshole, or, you know, just... Uh, uh, Take their point and and poo poo it. I mean, I'll have a debate with somebody if they want to have a. I think you what know, you should do is uh, follow Harvey Levin's uh, lead, though, and just ask the questions. Ask questions. Just ask the questions. Yeah. Don't give the opinions. Oh. Let them do all the heavy lifting. Oh. You know what I mean? Hey, like oh, you know, welfare. welfare. I what think do you a, think of it? I think a lot of people that are on welfare are uh, totally capable of working, and I think it's um, it's uh, terrible that they're taking taxpayers' monies. What do you think? <laughs> are they or are they not? Discuss. Yeah, I had it. Drug test uh, of EBT, they drug test for welfare. Oh, yeah? Well, that's state by state. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just, uh, it's so infuriating. I was watching so many fucking videos last night on the welfare system and, uh, and the, the just the money that just gets thrown out without any accountability whatsoever and testimony from people that are saying, yeah, 
I'm just getting free money. Why would I want to work? EBT, it's for free. And you just, so many places accept uh, taxpayers' welfare money that shouldn't. You shouldn't. You should be able to get extensions on, on welfare. You should be able to get your fucking nails done. Big two-liter bottle of soda, go fuck yourself. Do you ever, Give your kid juice. Do you ever uh, spend time uh, looking at positive videos of just uh, anything good positive things that are is happening in the world? Or? Nudity. I just nudity? look okay. at naked girls. There you go. I look at uh, horrible things that affect our nation. And if I want the positive side, naked girls. I love looking at totally nude girls online. They're beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know what to do, though. You're right. I, I, I say I'm fed up and I'm tired of it, but there's nothing you can really do. Uh, and then I hear New York State, uh, good old Cuomo, is um, raising the taxes on, of course, the wealthiest of uh, New Yorkers, which in New York, especially the city, uh, the line they made is is middle class. You're missing, you're missing the point. Mm -hmm. You really are. I heard this on the way in. Yeah. It was supposed to be a temporary tax. Temporary, So right. it's another politician lying through their fucking teeth. Yes. Back in, um, what year did he say this was? Uh, oh, I wanna, uh, 2006? I want to say, yeah, either 2006 or 2008, he put in a tax in and said it's, it's going to be temporary. temporary. Everyone relax. Everyone just calm the fuck down. It's yep. just temporary. We need the money. And then, you know, people forget, fast forward a bunch of years, and then that temporary tax, of course, is not temporary anymore. Another just lying piece of shit. And did you hear why they, they want to liars. You hear why they want to sign it now? Why? Because it's supposed to expire in the election year, in 2014. But they don't want a big argument about it and make it an election issue. Oh, I see. So, in other words, they don't want the American people to actually have an open discussion, let their politicians know how they feel about it, so they could vote on it during an election year, where they're held accountable for what they're, they're fucking doing. So now they'll slide it in now... So that by the time it's 2014 uh, and the elections come around, bah, who cares? I, I, am truly, I am truly amazed by anyone that believes in a politician. They're I'm just all amazed. cock sucking pigs. So, and, and what, it affects everybody or is it just the rich? It's a rich tax, right? Uh, yeah, another one of the, you know, the wealthiest of them. Even Bill Maher, holy shit, even fucking Bill Maher is coming around. That liberal piece of shit yep. uh, was on his show with Rachel Maddow and a couple of the lib fucking douchebags. And uh, he said, he goes, you liberals, you're, you're going to lose me because you're going to lose me. The tax that he's paying in California, he, he said he can't take it. it. They're taking so much money. And, and even he said, and being told, you know, you're not doing your fair share. It's the same rant I've been on for years. Yep. And, and, you know, you, you made your bed, you fucking asshole. You gave a million bucks to the administration that wants to jack your fucking taxes up, I think you shithead. I think he's up to 55% he pays. Yeah. I think that's what he said. And you know what? So it's more than half now for he, him. You know what? It reaches a point where even fucking Bill Maher is it's, like, hey, this might be enough. It should never be more than half. Ah, oh, crazy. It should never be more than 25%. Oh, yeah, of course. Five percent. Of course. But then now you're talking like where you work your balls off and the government actually benefits more than you. That's crazy. And, and the worst part of it is paying that much. And just having to day after day watch the news, read the read that you're not doing enough, mm -hmm. and be villainized still, like oh you're the rich, the this, the banker, this that that, 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 that. and you sit there go what the fuck? Do you? You'd love to just pull it and say really, really? How about I'm not, I don't give you anything? And then you go to prison. Yeah. But it would be lovely if all these wealthiest of Americans uh, decided not to pay. And watch what, what happens when 70 fucking 5 to 80% of your revenue goes away. Yuck. They'd come after you. Oh, of course they would. You and first. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, me first. How about everybody? Just it, It's how we got to this point where we're paying this much. The, 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 our representatives do not represent us at all anymore. There's no recourse for you to do anything except pay. Pay or go to jail. It's pure extortion. Pure. Crazy. America. Great. Just We're the freest nation of the world. We're the greatest nation. Shut the fuck up. The principle is great. The whole idea behind it is great. And at one time, I bet it was great. This place sucks. We were talking about baseball dirt, and now you got everyone sad. Oh. Yep. We were having fun with baseball dirt. You do remember that, right? Yeah, I forgot. <laughs>